Okay, we're back to recording lessons. <coughs> lesson 34. <coughs> so, this lesson is online. It will be online. I'm going to record it right now. Um, the objective to our lesson today, we're going to be factoring some in difference of cubes. So, we've been talking about how to factor break apart quadratic equations, the ones that look like u, and we graph them. So, now we're going to look at x cubed, or x to the fourth, x to the fifth, x to the ninth, whatever it is. We're going to learn how to factor and break things apart. So, um, we will be using uh, a method to factor the sum in difference of cubes. It's basically a pattern. Here are the steps. If you're on the video, make sure that the equation is in the form of a cubed plus b cubed. Okay. Um, if it is, then we can factor it just using this pattern. Okay. There are two patterns. So it looks like this, and then follow this pattern here. It looks like this, and then follow the same pattern. And then sometimes we have to solve, so we have to factor it completely. We're not solving today, but in the future we will. Okay. <clears throat> so, write the steps down if, and pause the video if you need to. Otherwise, we're moving on. Number one. Ooh, there we go. Number one. A cubed plus 27, okay? So, when I. <clears throat> noticing here, I got A cubed, which means there's, um, you know, A to the third power. I need to figure out is this a sum or difference of cubes? So, I notice that A cubed, if I were to factor A cubed by itself or rewrite it, it's like saying A cubed to the third power, right? And 27 is like saying 3 to the third power. Right? Yeah. Okay, so it's it's one of those uh, obvious ones, right? So this is, it looks like this pattern here, so I'm going to follow this pattern a plus b times a squared plus minus a b plus b squared. So I'm going to factor it out now. So I'm going to start off with my uh, <coughs> a plus b, which is a plus 3, right? And then I'm going to do a squared, which is just going to be, in this case, a squared again. Okay. And then we got minus a plus b. So I have to put a minus sign there. a plus b in this case is going to be a times 3, which is 3a. Okay. And then I'm going to have to do plus b squared. Our b here is not uh, 3. So 3 squared is 9. So we're going to get plus 9. And that's it. And that's our answer, number 1. That's how we factor it. Nope. What is it? Is there an equal sign with a zero or anything? No, so we don't solve it. It's just we're factoring an expression. We're doing something very basic today. Okay? So again, what did I do? I noticed that this is a, a perfect cube. I got a cubed plus 27. a cubed is like saying a to the power of 3. 27 is like saying 3 to the power of 3. So I notice this is a sum of cubes. So we got a cubed plus b cubed. So I use this pattern and, fa and factored it out. That's it. Okay. And if I were to multiply this back in, I would get the original answer, believe it or not. So, All right, number two. We got 8x cubed minus 125. Again, I see x to the third power, so I want to think, is this a perfect cubed? So I know that the uh, 8 is like saying 2 to the power of 3, and x to the power of 3 is like saying x to the power of 3, so this is like saying 2x to the power of 3, okay? Then we have a minus sign, okay? And 125 is like saying 5 to the power of 3, right? This one's a little bit harder, right? But we see the pattern. We got one term to the power of 3 minus another term to the power of 3. So this is our a, this is our b. So we got a cubed minus b cubed is equal to this value right here. So we're going to... Uh, <coughs> I'll write this down using this pattern. So we got a minus b, so it's just going to be 2x minus 5. Okay, open parentheses. We got a squared. In this case, 2x squared is 4x squared. Okay, then we have a plus a times b. 2x times 5 is 10x. We're going to do plus 10x. And then we got plus b squared, which is going to be plus 25. And that's it. You box your answer. Make sense? No? You good? Did you say something? No. Okay. I heard something come out of your mouth. Okay. All right. So let's have you turn your neighbor. One cell, two is about number one. And then two. Number three. Take out your iPads. Number three. Okay, number three. We got M cubed plus eight. Make sure you start off on a new project, that way you don't make the same mistakes from someone else. 
Okay, so we got M cubed plus 8. Okay, so... We know, I could see that this is m to the third power, and 8 is like saying what to the third power? 2 to the third power. So I'm going to rewrite this as m to the third power and 2 to the third power. Oh boy, what just happened here? Sorry about that. Okay. So, does it follow one of my two patterns for sum or difference of cubes? Yeah, which one? First or second pattern? First pattern. Okay, good. So, um, <clears throat> we got m plus 2. And then, what's a squared in this case? m squared. Okay. And then what sign should I have next? Subtraction. And then 2 times m. Finish up my problem for me, please. Go. I'm gonna see. Make sure you simplify, right? We don't just put, like, leave it as 2 squared. It's going to be plus 2 squared, which is 4. And that's it. Make sense? Okay. Next one. 8u cubed minus 1. Okay. What's a equal to here? 8. 2u, right? And that's, the, if we were to write this, that's to the third power, and then 1, or minus 1 is going to be minus 1 to the third power. Okay, finish up my problem. Go. Factor it out. Okay, so continuing on here, you should have 2u minus 1 as the first uh, term, our first expression, times, open parentheses, get 4u squared. And look, we're going to have a plus sign here, plus 1. That's your answer. Make sense? I hope so. Good? Okay. Continuing on. Number five. Let's see if you can do this one by yourself. But before I let you go by yourself, what's the first thing I should check for? Now, even before that, whenever you factor, you always should check for what? What's the first thing on the list you always check for? GCF. Is there a GCF in this one? Yeah, what's the GCF? Three. So you should factor on a three. Okay. Which means that three should be in your answer. So you should have three, and then you could start your work. Open parentheses. Okay. So I'm going to leave you there. Finish up your problem. So your final answer should be, you should have two parentheses. Your sign should look like this. You got, you should have a negative. I know that 8x cubed is like saying 2x to the third power, and 27 is like saying 3 to the third power. So we just uh, write these down. And there you go. Any questions on numbers 1 or 2? I mean number 5. Any questions on 5? Okay, great. That concludes the lesson. I'd like you to discuss these questions now.